Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It's September 26th. This is going to be your last reading. This is going to be a potluck reading. This is what I've decided. We're going to do potluck today. All right. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, do thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. For the collective, for their potluck reading, what little guidance or information do you have for their potluck reading <laughs> wow virgo virgo i'm getting ready to do the virgo reading next um but let's see collective collective yeah you know what collective you guys are doing an amazing job you're taking a brand new leap of faith a new door an unexpected door is opening up for you a new path um, this is a path that is a part of your fate and destiny, and it has to do with you helping others in your community. It's definitely a line for you. This can include relocating. This could include um, taking on another job, a career, um, opening your own business. Some of you could be traveling. Uh, and I did hear nonprofit. Some of you could be into nonprofit organizations in other countries, helping other countries. That won't be for everyone. Um, but I definitely feel like this could include travel for sure. It's tied into your fate and destiny. And this is a blessing that's coming in with exchanging gifts. The divine is blessing you because you have successfully closed out a karmic cycle. And by the book, you're living according to universal law. So you have the aid of the spiritual realm helping you. They're saying your only job is to stay in the present moment, stay in the here and now, being in a space of love and gratitude, but also going with the flow. Don't try to control the outcome. Don't try to control anything. Just say, I'm open to receive whatever blessings you have for me. I am open. I will graciously accept it from a space of love and gratitude. Any obstacles that I experience are learning opportunities or redirections. I am not going to look at any obstacles as a punishment because I'm not gonna allow anything to lower my vibration. For the collective, for the potluck reading, look at this. Heart, it says heart wisdom. I quiet my mind to hear the song of my heart, tapping into your intuition. So why? So you could get inspired. My vision and enthusiasm are uplifting. You're receiving inspiration. Some of you could be from New York, could be traveling to New York. We have New York on here. Um, let's just see what else we get. For the collective, okay. They said, self-love. I love myself exactly as I am. Learning to love yourself is bringing in growth and expansion. I face life with openness and love. Like I said, you're not trying to force anything. You're going with the flow and you're open to whatever the divine wants to bring your way. And then we got natural connection. I am a bright and blossoming being, a natural connection. This is you getting connected with nature, connected with the divine, connected with your higher self and your intuition. The color yellow could be significant. Making a wish could be significant. This could be a wish that you had in childhood that is now coming to fruition for someone a childhood wish or dream coming to fruition. I don't know who that's for. Take what resonates. Bet on you. It says, I have the resources I need to create the life I deserve. Yeah. You placed a bet on yourself. You know, in the past, you guys, you bet on other people. You gave your power to other people because you bet on them. You were fed an illusion, a dream, you know, maybe in childhood for you females out there, you were dreaming of a knight in shining armor and you met someone and you bet on this person. You thought this was the knight in shining armor, but you bet on the wrong person. And now you're realizing you have to bet on you because you can trust when you bet on yourself, it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. joyful expression it is safe to let go and have fun by betting on you and not being concerned about what anyone's thoughts feelings um 
judgments, opinions are of you, it, it definitely sets you free to be your true authentic self, to be silly, um, to sing, to laugh. I mean, this is my relationship with Mark. We are silly, we're goofy, we laugh, we joke, we do the silliest things, um, but we accept each other for who we are. We love each other for that silliness. Um, but I had to bet on myself first. I had to accept this is who I am. I had to release myself from fear of judgment and be my authentic self and feel free to be silly, to sing in the rain, to sing in public, to do crazy things just because my spirit is calling me to do it and it makes me happy. I love it. Then we got Lucky Bunny. I create my reality. By betting on you, by being in this joyful energy, you're creating your reality. The reality that you are creating is calling in more joy, more happiness, more growth into your life. Yep, you can expect change, guys. We're in a season of change. I flow into change with ease and grace. Why? Because you don't try to control anything anymore. You're just like a leaf blowing in the wind. Grateful for the storm. I am open to the blessing of the storm, which goes back to what I was channeling earlier. You're no longer looking at obstacles as obstacles, but you're looking, them, looking at them as opportunities to learn or redirection right? You live in a house in a certain location. The roof leaks. You get it fixed. The septic backs up. You get it emptied. You have electrical problem. One thing after another after another. Okay, what is it about this situation that I'm missing? The divine is saying, you don't belong here anymore. Nothing's in flow. Things are falling apart because we're trying to redirect you to where you belong. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's see what else we get, guys. <clears throat> let's do love and light. We haven't done this one for our potluck reading. What is a potluck? It makes me think of like potluck is like everybody brings a dish. It's a little from everything. And that's what we're doing. For the collective. We got, look at life from a higher perspective. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do, which goes back to nothing is an obstacle for punishment. Obstacles are lessons or redirections. Become still so you may hear God. Being in the stillness, taking time out to meditate and pray and being calm, being quiet, you're able to hear the voice of God. And they're definitely calling you to do that. They're calling you to tap in. Let me show you the baby, guys. I have to show you. Is that not sweet? And he's been so squirrely since we've been here. Normally, Lance is the one that's squirrely because he's older. He's 13. He's chilling. Look at Lance. Lance doesn't have a care in the world. Zeus. Zeus needs to be on doggy Ativan or something. He is stressed out. What's going on with him? All right. Yeah. Speak words of love. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. You know, you are recognizing what power love has. Being in the vibration of love within yourself, loving yourself, but loving the Lord that is the link. Your connection, which is also tied into your intuition with this moon on the deck, on the deck, on the card. That love is your connection with the Lord and the spiritual realm, but it's also your intuition is all a part of that. Come here and lay down, baby. All right. Blessing. Blessings of innocence and purity. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. This is like living a life through the eyes of a child. There is an angel and a child on this card. It's like releasing everything that you have ever known, all of your programming, 
about what it is to be an adult and reverting back to having this innocent view on life, this childlike wonder moving forward. And I don't care if you're 80 years old, you're stepping into this innocence, seeing the beauty in all things. Embrace adventure in your life. Jesus said, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. I can't. <laughs> By you seeing the eyes through the eyes of a child, like childlike wonder, you are calling in blessings, adventures in your life. Blessed adventures. Commit to a spirit of excellence, whatever you do, do well. And you know, I'm also getting, pray to the Holy Spirit. If you have a creative project, if you have a, a spiritual path, spiritual platform, pray to the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that you can deliver um, the messages that are meant to help and guide other people. Always pray to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is where we get that knowledge, okay? Release your cares to God. All that I, all, oh, that I had wings like a dove, then I would fly away and rest. They're saying, when you look through the eyes of a child in this life, a child does not have the cares that an adult has, the worries, the fears, the insecurities. They're saying, go back to when you were a child and that mindset when you released everything. There wasn't a care in the world. Release your cares to God, okay? So that you can be in this innocent energy, this, this childlike wonder. Wow, I love that, guys. That's pretty awesome. Let's do the moonology. <clears throat> For the collective, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to be aware of? Okay. I just heard, slow down. Life is not a race. Unless someone's chasing you, why are you running? Why are you trying to hurry? I don't know who that's for. Slow down. Slow down. Emotions are running high. Why are emotions running high? Because you're purging. Whatever you have on a subconscious level repressed, they are coming to the surface. You will feel emotional. Cry it out. Yell it out let it go release it they want you to meditate and contemplate <sighs> meditate and contemplate on what it is you want moving forward balancing spirituality and practicality you are of the, you are in the world but not of the world you live here obviously we have to um function in this earthly realm we have to eat bathe you know we have to pay our bills pay our taxes but at the same time, you're placing your focus in the 5D realm, which is your spiritual connection, what you're here for, what your purpose is. Yes, all the other things are important. We have to do it because it's a part of this earthly reality, but your priority is elsewhere. It's where it needs to be. They said the answers you need are coming don't let the past hold you back. That's south node. That's lower vibrational energy that doesn't serve you. Time to let it go so that you can move on. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Full men in Libra, justice. You don't have to worry about justice. Justice will go in your favor. Just surrender everything to God. Like they said in the other deck, surrender all your fears and worries to God. You know, and I read your comments, guys. I try to interact. Yesterday, I did not interact much. I did read them, though. I apologize. I just had so much going on, and I did not sleep last night. Um, but I don't even know where I was going with that. I hear the craziest stories, like the most outrageous things that people in human form have done to others. And these are people that have got away with these things their whole life. But, guys, we are in a karmic year. We are in a, the age of Aquarius. There is a huge shift in humanity. Things that would fly in the past is no longer going to fly. People are being made accountable. 
And there's nothing else that I can say to that or add to it. It is what it is. That's what's happening. They said, let your past go and go outside in fresh air. Ground yourself. Okay. Did we already do this deck? I don't know why I picked it up again, but I don't think we did. Yeah. Accept your experience, then cleanse and de de detoxify. Have the awareness of law and attraction. You know what you put out, you get back. You know that you've done everything that you can do. So have confidence that all that you have done will come back to you. All the goodness, all the love, all the effort that you have put in. And the same holds true for the person that did you dirty. The law of attraction does not discriminate the law of attraction just is and will always be. So no one escapes the law of attraction, guys. So don't let your heart be heavy. Surrender it to God. Whatever has happened to you, it happened so that you could grow and rise. Elevate. All right, for the collective. Spend time alone. Self-care. Enjoying your peace and recharging. It's one step at a time. They said you are gifted. So trust your gut. You're guided and you are protected. And I can tell you though, the awakenings we go through, it forces us, it pushes us to nurture our connection with God. It really does. Look, you're being led toward happiness and success. What are you worried about? There's no need for you to worry. Take a break. Everything is going to work out for you. Continue to get grounded. Continue to pray and meditate. You're on the right path. They said you are a true leader. When an opportunity comes in for you to leave, regardless of whether it's scary because you've never done it before, they said go for it. Just do it. Just do it. Last one. They said you're moving on and you're going to be celebrating that you had the courage to do so. And I do see new love. For those of you that um are manifesting new love i definitely do see new love so see in the present moment don't stress about the past and don't worry about the future stay in the here and now okay be in a space of love and gratitude and watch how things unfold for you okay guys i love you if you're interested in scheduling a private reading um i am scheduling for I think next Tuesday, uh, maybe Wednesday, I can't remember, but I've limited spots, schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio TikTok description of YouTube. All right, guys, have a blessed day. I love you. Thank you for your prayers for Florida. Um, I am praying as well. And I just trust, I just trust. Okay. Look, don't give up. You're headed in the right direction. You're headed to where you're meant to be, which is your destiny. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.